So again, they want us to find the angle between the vectors. So they give us two vectors, u and v. And so we're going to say the cosine theta is equal to u dot v. I know I write it a little bit different than the book does. This is just the way I've always seen it until I looked in this book. OK, <laughs> so it's a lot of little pieces. We've got a dot product we need to find. So let's find the dot product u dot v, which is going to equal negative 3 times 5 plus 4 times 12. Oh, you know what? I think we did that one before. It wound up being 33, if I remember correctly. OK, so that was the dot product. Then we have to find the magnitude of u which is going to be the square root of negative 3 squared plus 4 squared, which is going to be the square root of 25, because 9 plus 16. And then that's just going to be 5, so nice, it's not a square root. OK, and then we have to find the magnitude of v, which is going to be 5 squared plus 12 squared. I think we did this one too, which is 25 plus 144, it's 169. So square root of 169 is 13. OK, so what does all that mean when we go to go put it into our formula here? Cosine theta is going to be the dot product, 33, divided by, and then it's going to be 5 times 13. And so that's going to be, well, cosine theta, 33 over 65. So we want to do theta is equal to the inverse cosine. of 33 divided by 65. And that I'll have to go and find on my calculator. Let's see. Okay. Um, inverse cosine, 33 divided by 65. And 50, it's about 59.5 degrees. Now, you might want to think a little bit about these vectors. And so you have a vector going, um, they're both position vectors, 5, 12. So some vector like headed out in that direction for v. And then you have a u vector going negative 3, 4 off in this direction somehow. And then you're thinking about this angle in between, that that is your theta, OK? So you can think about that. 59.5 seems reasonable. You could draw it out and have a nice picture of it to see it clearer, but that's just kind of a rough sketch and an idea there.